So I talked about buying stuff in the last episode with, uh, with money, uh, currency, dead poly currency, and uh, you can actually sell certain things to certain NPCs to get a certain amount, you know, different kinds uh, of um, different amounts of money, and you can buy different things from uh, other NPCs. Currently, uh, and definitely this is going to change. Currently, there is only two NPCs that definitely will change I can guarantee that um, and so first off I'm gonna show you the uh, one the NPC that we talked about in the last episode uh, if you haven't seen it go check it out take a look at the the giant bridge um, that is kind of on the I guess I'd say the east side of the map and then if you follow it down continue way down to the uh, bomb the nuke here and then you can you go past the nuke even more farther down to the point where you find just a bunch of uh, zombies a huge crowd of zombies and if you take a look to your right from there you can see a food market now in this food market there is an NPC as you can see the NPC here you can actually talk to and trade with um, and there is some company coming so let me uh, be quick here so with uh, t to buy the stuff that the NPCs are selling you have to use what is called money and it basically looks like a uh, US you know US dollar bill and the only thing you can sell to this guy is a twinkle pastry now the tw twinkle pastry is I mean it's kinda hard to find sometimes it does spawn inside the food market itself uh, other times it's just completely random yeah, you know I, I, I I've found it in just a random house before and it's very small and as you can see here let's get a close-up it is like a yellow it, it's it's a yellow pastry essentially that's what it is and if you look in the uh, description and talks about the description but it says price uh, 500 money and he will give you this NPC will give you 500 money you can use that money to buy his products if you save up um, you know sell enough twinkle pastries you can buy this water cooler which is 1250 money uh, and it is basically an infinite source of water that you can place at your base now say you you know you look trying to look and look and look and find the twinkle pastry and you just can't find it and you wish there's some other way to sell uh, and earn money well there actually is so let me go ahead to that place right now okay so I'm at the bridge again I'm gonna be using this as a reference point for a lot because of how big it is so it's gonna be easy for you guys to spot so say I'm at the bridge right now I'm actually gonna look to my right and we're gonna just keep walking uh, in these woods for a little bit um, if we keep going we'll see this right this uh, telephone pole uh, or actually not even a telephone pole but the electric uh, the electric towers and uh, the first electric tower that you find you're gonna move straight to this uh, water tower as well so you've got a couple reference points as well which is nice um, actually no not the first one it's the first one's right there so the second one the second uh, electric tower move over uh, or turn turn left move towards this uh, water tower go inside this small little parking lot the motel and what you're gonna do is go over to this Come on, stinking little thing. Uh, go over to this little area where it's, you see these these tents over here? You're actually not going to go over to these tents, but instead, this little house. This small little safe house. And it's his shop. And this you can't even barely see him. So you don't even really know what he's wearing or anything, but he's an arms deal, a dealer. And uh, as you can see right here, you trade with him, and you can buy tons of different guns. You got one, two, three, two, three different guns. A suppressor three different kinds of ammo and they all cost different things and like I said uh, let's get a close-up here you can purchase them for different amounts of money 750 uh, 1000 for the famous and uh, desert eagle is 750 but if you uh, take a look at the cell area you click on sell and there you have a ton of different things to sell and when you sell that stuff uh, you get a certain amount of money. So the car battery, the two different car batteries. Um, there's a orange one and a and a blue one. The blue one, they, he gives you 50. The orange one, he gives you 45. Floppy disk, 100. A blue flash drive, 
500, yellow flash drive, 500, gas mask, 50, uh, 9 volt battery, 20, and AA battery is 10 money. So they all have different prices, and when you sell that, you'll be able to actually buy this stuff. So actually, let me uh, go find, uh, I actually have it at my base. Let me grab some stuff to sell, and then show you what the money actually looks like. I've got a double A battery, and when I sell that, uh, I'm, I actually have some money right now. I'm gonna drop that on the floor real quick, just so that you can see the uh, how how it works. Whatever it is that you're selling, as long as you have one of these items in your inventory, um, all you have to do is click on sell. You can change the quantity. So let's say I wanted to sell ten batteries. It's not gonna do it. This is not enough items because I only have one. But if I bring it down back to one. It gave me 10 money. So this is what you're going to use to buy from the uh, NPCs. And these are the items, at least to this guy, that you can sell for, uh, to to get money. And this is ultimately the best way to get the money, is selling stuff to this guy. The the other guy, the foodie, basically, the foodie, um, he, I mean, all he has is the, the twinkle pastry, which in my opinion... 500 bucks, I mean 500 bucks, you could do the same thing with the flash drive. Um, the gas mask, it has to be this type as well. I've tried other different types of gas masks, and unfortunately, uh, they haven't worked. Not in the past, I don't know if they ch he changed that, but currently, that's all we get. The 9-volt battery, you do actually need that for light, so it might not be advised to sell. Um, and I can talk about light later, um, but right now, if you do want to sell it, that's fine, but you could... You know, if you find multiple 9 volts, I would suggest saving some of them. That way you can uh, use them towards the uh, the light products. So say I have a, uh, like right now I have 602 money. Um, that was just from selling other stuff uh, off camera. If we go to, say, okay, the M4 is 750. I can't buy that if I tried to. It says cannot afford. Um, they only come in one, which does kind of suck, I believe. Uh, actually, no, no, times 30. It used to be 1. I, I remember it used to be 1, I'm pretty sure. But now it is times 30. It tells you right here, times 30. So you'll get a set of 30 for $150 and $85 for all these. Um, and now, personally, I I do like the Full Metal Jacket uh, bullets for the, uh, I believe it's for the AK, if I remember. So I'm going to buy a couple of those. 1, 2, 3. And as you can see, I got 90 because I bought them three times, <clears throat> and then the money, I it dropped down to 347 So that's how um, NPCs and buying stuff works. Thought I'd let you guys know, since I already talked about it in the last, uh, I briefly talked about it in the last episode. Hope that helps a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, be sure to bazooka the like button, and consider subscribing uh, for more content. You know, stay on schedule with that and be able to see my notifications and all that stuff because i'm going to be continuing the tutorial for dead poly uh you know for a while now especially since the game just started have a fantastic day and uh, see you guys in the next episode